we know that capacitor is used to keep the voltage constant capacitors are used in voltage regulators and voltage stabilizer but have you ever thought how this capacitor helps to keep the voltage constant and why you always get a leading current in capacitor so if you want to get the answers watch the video In our previous video we have seen the practical construction of a capacitor and how capacitor stores energy. So if you want to have the detail about this topic you will find the link for this videos down in the description and this will help you guys to understand the capacitor more easily. Okay? So the link is in the description. We know that when current passes through the simple resistor it dissipate as a heat, right? But when current passes through the capacitor, what will happen? Yes, you guessed it right. It will act differently. Now, how it acts? Let's see that. Now, when capacitor tries to keep voltage constant by changing the current across it. Now, how this works? Let's see that. Let's suppose say uh, the voltage across your capacitor has been increased above the normal level, right? Now, the capacitor will oppose this change in voltage by reducing the current or it will uh, you know take the current from the system right and here comes your ohms law if your current reduces what will happen right your voltage will also decrease to the normal value right and current will keep on decreasing until the voltage becomes normal again right and at this time your capacitor is said to be charging this is charging of capacitor because capacitor is taking current from the system right and in this stage capacitor is act as a load because it is taking some power from your circuit and it act as a load now this image will clarify now here you can see current is entering uh, into the negative terminal of the capacitor that means it is taking the current and it is acting as a load now what will happen when the voltage across capacitor will reduce uh, below the normal value yes right the current across it will increase and again the ohms law with the increase in current your voltage will also increase to the normal level right and at this stage capacitor is said to be discharging this is discharging of capacitor because whatever energy is stored now it's being released right and you can say that capacitor is now acting as a source now this simple device can act as a source and it can also act as a load we have seen that this image will clarify you now in the previous image we saw that current was entering from the negative terminal but at this stage current is leaving from the negative terminal that means it it is acting as a source and it is supplying current to the rest of the circuit right and this is how capacitor keeps the voltage constant the only thing you have to remember is that capacitor opposes the change in the voltage by reducing or increasing the current across it right and as far as the ohms law is concerned with the increase or decrease in the current your voltage is going to change and that only keeps the voltage constant it is nothing but the combination of few basic things right the ohms law and every time your voltage across the capacitor is going to vary it will try to keep the voltage constant by changing the current across it it will take the current from the system when voltage is higher right and it will supply the current to the rest of the system when voltage is lower right thereby keeping your voltage constant and this is how the capacitor keeps the voltage constant now the remaining question is why we always get a leading current from a capacitor okay now let me give the answer for that uh, this is the uh, typical waveform through the capacitor here you can see the current is leading the voltage by 90 degree right now why this happens as we have seen uh, if the voltage across capacitor is maximum the current will be zero right so maximum voltage zero current right but when the voltage gets to the zero position what will happen it will capacitor will try to keep that voltage constant by increasing the current to its maximum level so zero voltage is equal to maximum level so 
at starting as you can see the voltage is zero the black dot shows that right now at this zero voltage to keep the voltage constant what capacitor will does yes capacitor will increase the current to its maximum level right so here you can see the current is maximum now in the second case when the voltage is maximum of course to keep the voltage constant the capacitor will reduce the current across it or it will take the current from the system and at this stage the current is zero right so if you draw a neat waveform for this situation you will find that when voltage is zero the current is maximum and when ma voltage is maximum your current is a zero right and this is the reason you will always get a leading current uh, in the capacitive circuit right now if you draw a vector diagram for voltage and current through a capacitor you will get this this shows that your current is a leading your voltage by 90 degree and reason for this we have just saw that right now i hope the concept of how voltage uh, how capacitor keeps the voltage constant and why you always get a leading current through a capacitive circuit is clear to you guys and you have understood it very well so you can these are the some practical image of uh, the capacitors this capacitor is generally used for power factor correction and as well as for the voltage regulators these are also some of the real images of capacitor okay so I hope this is clear to you guys. Now you can find more interesting videos and articles on my website that is www.theelectricalguide.in. Here you can also stand a chance to become an author. For the more details, you can visit our website. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube uh, to receive our next update. So, guys, thank you for watching. Keep watching, keep learning.